Get a dress in layers. Yeah, I just checked. Spring is officially start in 25 days from now. So we <laughs> We're have almost some, there. We have yeah. some winter <laughs> left, obviously, Nick. We're about to get through. Stuff. Timing yeah. some stuff out in the valley tonight. What are people going to be prepared to deal with? You know, tonight the rain's going to fill in. So we yeah. haven't seen a whole lot in the way of rainfall yet in the valley. That's going to happen tonight, and the snow levels are going to hover about a thousand feet. So if you're traveling, yeah. you have places to go going into this weekend. Uh, think about your uh, travel plan, your route, because if you're going upwards of even above 800 feet, you got to start thinking about those icy roadways, the snow, and a lot of it too because the snowfall amounts quickly increase from a few inches to several feet in just a matter of 2,000 feet elevation. So uh, very little elevation gain to get a lot of snow. Look at the alerts in place. A lot of winter storm warnings. What you don't see often, though, are winter storm warnings across the northern Sacramento Valley. Now, that's where we're seeing cold air all the way down to the surface. But as you work your way down towards Sacramento, we don't have those winter storm warnings in place. And although on the map it looks like Stockton, Modesto are included in the warning, uh, you're not. It's for the foothills um, within this region that are from 1,000 feet and above. So a lot more to go through the overnight into the day tomorrow that if you notice down across parts of Tuolumne County in red, those are blizzard warnings, but that's for 8,000 feet and above. And you follow that all the way down the spine of the Sierra and the higher elevations just outside L.A., but also down across Southern California are flood watches because of the rain component of that moisture that will be coming in rotating around an uh, area of low pressure across the Pacific Northwest. The entire span of the coastline is impacted by the uh, general wind flow of this, so that's what we're seeing across uh, northern California today. What we've been looking at, a few uh, showers across the valley as of recent. If you were in the valley, you looked outside mid-afternoon, you probably seen some peaks of sunshine. Well, that sunshine helped destabilize the atmosphere, and that allowed some additional showers to develop. And some of those have produced some small hail today. In addition to that, grapple, we've had some cloudy ground lightning strikes with that. Right now, I'm not seeing anything too significant in the valley. Just some light showers across uh, parts of the San Joaquin Valley and some showers with, uh, mixed with grapple coming in across the Sacramento area right now. Further to the east, some snow across the foothills all the way up to the Sierra. You can see Pollock Pines uh, eastward. But also, if you look to the west, getting into a lull in the activity, and I think that will continue through much of this evening after about 9 o'clock, that snow will begin to fill in and become uh, more steady and the intensity will pick up. But by 11 o'clock tonight, you can see the rain starts filling in across parts of the valley. And then tomorrow morning, uh, not seeing steady precipitation, but it'll be on and off through much of the day. And I think we'll pick up about a half inch to an inch of rain in the valley for tomorrow. The higher elevations, you're still looking at a lot of snowfall here, uh, especially once you get above uh, 2,000 feet, 3,000 feet, you'll be measuring the snow in feet as a result of the storm. Wind advisories in place tonight through tomorrow for the valley. Those winds are going to start to pick up, uh, and temperatures will feel even colder when you factor in that wind chill. Right now, we're seeing those wind gusts uh, not too bad, but those gusts will be approaching 40 to 50 miles per hour going into the overnight hours. All right, here's your seven day forecast. Looking ahead, Friday, first alert action day uh, for the showers, the Sierra snow, a little bit of downtime going into the weekend. We're watching another system Sunday that will bring a period of rain, but not too much of a big deal. Another first alert action day for Monday. Why? Well, we have uh, more widespread rain coming in, a wetter storm, and significant snow Monday in the Sierra. Tony? All right, Nick, thanks.